Whoa, hey, we're here. Uh, my name is Mr. Gibson, once again, your speech teacher. Welcome, speech students, uh, to week four. Just a little, just to, just for the last time, if you haven't gotten your, in your introduction speeches, please get those in as soon as possible. Really easy A, just do it. The easiest speech you'll have this semester. Okay, I'm done with that. Um, it's up to you now, it's in your hands. I've pounded into your minds too many times. but um, So this week I'm dedicating this little segment uh, strictly to giving you some more information on how to give your how-to speeches, your demonstration speeches. Um, so hopefully I can help you out a little bit in that way. Your how-to speeches, like I've said, need to be around four to six minutes. If you've read the requirements that I sent to you in your email, you should know that. It gave you a little um, outline on what to expect to do in your how-to speech, what it's about, what its purpose is. Um, I've also given you an outline that you need to fill out yourself and submit to me with your speech. So it's, it's mapped out really easily. Some of you, I know, um, organization is not your thing. That's okay. I've kind of organized or mapped out how your speech should look. All you have to do is fill in the blanks and make it personal. Um, with your specific information that you're giving your speech on. So, all right. Um, let's see. So your how-to speeches need to be a little more uh, prepared. You need to be a little more prepared. You need to, need to be a little more organized. Not like I'm doing right now. This is just right off the cuff. Boom. That's why I'm stuttering and stammering. And Anyway. Um, so... Your introduction speech, it was honestly an easy A. You just tell me who you are, interesting thing, and then you close and say, you know, look forward to the year. I don't know. Some of you did it differently. Um, this how-to speech is an actual speech that you will give, that you might give um, <clears throat> to inform an audience, to demonstrate a talent or a skill or just how to do something, um, a hobby. Right, and so I've included because it's it's one thing to hear somebody talk, tell you what it's what you're supposed to do. It's another thing to see an actual demonstration speech, a how-to speech. So what I've done is I've included a link um, in this same email of a really good example of what a demonstration how-to speech should look like. Um, it's from a girl. I don't know where she went to school or or what exactly this was for. Um, but she did a fantastic job in, in showing us how to dance. That's what she showed us. And she made it very personal. So one, some of the things I'd like you to notice when you watch that, um, that girl give her speech is how she started her introduction. It wasn't, today I'm going to speak to you about how to dance, mm, robot. No, it wasn't like that. Um, she she just talks to you kind of casually. She opens up the the floor to uh, just some little bits of information about herself, and it helps um, open the speech up so that you're prepared to know that oh this is interesting. This is a unique way of of uh, of sorry that sorry. See, I need an outline right now. Anyway, it just helps uh, engage the audience when you start out a speech with some interesting little facts about yourself. Um, so watch that and notice how she does her introduction. Then as she gives, as she catches your attention, she goes into um, explaining what she's going to teach uh, the students or her class how to, what to do. Um, so once she's grabbed the attention, informed us on the purpose of the speech and some of the points she might touch on in that speech and then she transitions into the different types of dancing and the different purposes of those dances um, so she just did a great job watch that speech um, it should help you in understanding you know how you should organize your speech how you should address your speech um, so yeah make sure you're using good transitions make sure your your different points that you make aren't choppy but that they kind of flow in with one another um, they just have a, a natural sequence to them. Make sure that happens. That's what transitions are for. Um, and just have fun. Um, be relaxed. 
I mean, if you watch that speech, you see that, you know, her speech wasn't ex exactly, you know, completely formal. It was a little bit informal, you know. She had fun with it. There were students in the background, you can see, making noise, like, oh, you know, responding to her. It was that kind of a speech. Um, it wasn't one where the audience had to com be completely quiet. It's a fun speech. So have fun with it. You don't have to sit down in front of your computer like I'm doing right now. In fact, I would, um, I would encourage you not to, unless you, unless it's okay with what you're teaching us. But really, kind of pan out, stand up, um, maybe have somebody be your little camera person. I don't know. Um, but that way, um, that way you can actually show us what you're trying to show us because it is a demonstration speech you should be showing us while you're while you're uh, speaking so try that out um, a second point you need to have at least one person live watching you it could be your mom or dad an aunt uncle grandmother grandfather a friend um, a cousin you know you need to have one person though one person in fact, for most of your speeches coming up, you will be required to have one person. And when you give your speech, I want you to uh, show that person who's there so I know that, okay, there's somebody there watching it in addition to myself. Um, so please do that. Let's see. I think that might be it. Um, when you conclude your speech, uh, make sure you kind of touch on the points that you covered um, wrap it up nicely don't just end it and say and that is how to dance no kind of wrap it up um, to help us all remember what points you touched on why they were important once again and then close and thank us or do whatever you need to do to close and conclude your speech but yeah like I said be interesting be fun be relaxed and be organized. Just make sure you submit that outline to me. So, if you have any questions, give me a call or email me. Have a great week. Those speeches are due September 18th um, by midnight. So, get those in on time. It helps me put the grades into PowerSchool. Talk to you later.